So hey y'all, I'm back with another video. So tonight's video is yet again another Chama Chats video podcast edition. So by the title, we're gonna be talking about the Combs twins whose names are Jesse and Delilah and Callie who is rapper The Game's daughter and their recent display on social media. Recently, the twins celebrated their 16th birthdays and of course they went all out. I mean, their dad is a billionaire. The girls had a themed birthday party and after looking at the photos, I'm not too sure what the theme was. I wanna say outer space, but I know their outfits we reflected a theme of some sort and their outfits are actually the topic of this video. The twins sported some very interesting costumes that warranted a lot of conversation, eyebrow raising, and determining whether or not this was age appropriate. In addition to the twins, Callie, who again is the game's 12-year-old daughter, attended the party and wore an outfit that people are saying isn't age appropriate either. My outright opinion on both is that I agree that the young ladies do not look age appropriate. I think we're in an era where because a lot of adult imagery and content Content, and I'm not talking solely sexualized imagery and content, but adult imagery and content is so accessible by the younger generation that we have blurred the lines on what is considered age appropriate. I think a lot of kids and teens are way more exposed to things at earlier ages than I was, and I'm still considered Gen Z, being that I was born in 1997, but I feel like I live a different life than someone who was born in like 2005. Like if you're under 18 right now, the media definitely raised you. Having a smartphone wasn't even that common when I was in middle school and high school. I think most people got on like the iPhone wave towards the end of me being in high school. So let's also address the elephant in the room. Many of you were going to comment about how the internet or social media shouldn't judge or comment about what a parent chooses to do with their kids and get all wild up in the comments in regards to how we should mind our business and we're not rich enough to speak on Diddy's kids or whoever. Quite frankly, shut up, okay? <laughs> because I think turning a blind eye to something like this is the reason why it continues to happen or young girls and teens may not realize that they are drawing the wrong attention to themselves. We were all teenagers at some point and I know for a fact that I definitely did wear things that were not age appropriate. So I'm speaking from a place of reflection and also acknowledging that in today's times, things are just different and how we view things are different. So I've broken this video down into two main talking points. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So point number one is, is this age appropriate? The first point is discussing whether or not this is age appropriate for the age of 12 to 16, teenagers, teenage girls. That is completely subjective. I mean, Diddy is a grown man well into his 50s and he thought their outfits were fine, hence why he probably paid for them and allowed for them to wear these outfits. I think the bodysuits or jumpsuits were beautiful on them and I think if they would have just kept these on, no one would be discussing this. But the outfit in question is this two-piece set that is high-waisted and low-cut by the top. Now, I have seen 16-year-old girls wear way worse, so I wasn't that alarmed by this but I just think that with the visibility that these girls have it is a bit inappropriate for them to be sporting the bottom half of this outfit. I'm not really against midriff being shown. I grew up doing competitive cheerleading so it wasn't really a big deal to me but the underwear or panty-like portion was definitely inappropriate to me for a 16 year old. The way how they wore it wasn't in any way sexual or morally compromising but I just feel like in today's age and with their very public lives I just wish kids would be kids. Lately I've been in a little slump because I've had this epiphany about how I've done so much in my late teens and early 20s as it relates to my social media platform. Like I started my YouTube when I was 17 and I wish I didn't delete a lot of my old videos, but I definitely used to do outfit of the day and showcase my fashion side. And you know, I was showing skin in certain areas too. Now, did my parents know or approve? Hell no. But I do understand being young and wanting to look a little older with the clothes that you wear. And for that reason, I see the effect it had on me once I got a little bit older. I am five foot ten, so almost six feet tall, and I've been this height pretty much since like the ninth or tenth grade. So I've always been perceived as older than I am. And the Comb twins, they are also tall, they are models, just like I was at that age. And I think that also plays a role as to why they may be seen as older than they are. And a lot of young girls act on it because as teenagers, we always desire to be seen as more mature or more sexy or just more adult-like. I can only imagine the desire of young girls and teens now because social media is literally running this generation. Like, I'm so happy I'm not a teenager right now. I just know the pressure is way more intense than it was for me. But Jesse and Delilah's outfits did have people looking and commenting. A lot of people like to say, look at your own home or your own kids before you judge. And that's true and cool, but I still think that you have to be protective of what children are showcasing. I mean, look at what just happened with Balenciaga. People can get up in arms about that, as they should, because any type of imagery involving minors and malice, and that is sexual malice, demonic malice, 
malice and or just inappropriate malice should be called out. So people do have the right to comment on something that they think is inappropriate, especially if it's dealing with children. I think the twins did look beautiful, but I want Diddy and maybe other adults who don't really bat an eye to some of these fashion choices to understand what they are projecting to certain audiences. Social media has made us so much more visible to strangers and that innocence can be taken away just from what you allow your child to wear or post on social media. The second half about questioning whether or not this was age appropriate is about the game's daughter, Callie. Callie is 12 years old and the girl is gorgeous. I mean, she was always a beautiful baby. I remember when the game had that show years ago. I don't even remember the name or some of the episodes, but I just remember seeing her on that show when I was younger. And he posted this picture of Callie right before she went to a party and also penned an Instagram post about her. This is what he said. Somebody please tell the Lord to help. She was just two years old like a week ago. Now my baby is 12 years old, growing up and it won't stop. Please follow her new page at Callie Lynn Dream Taylor. The old one is hacked. Disclaimer, before the internet get to internetting, me and her mother both agreed to let her do makeup for the young and beautiful at the Combs Twins Sweet 16 birthday party. So I'm gonna be real, I do think the dress is a little bit too low cut for a 12 year old. 12 years old means that she's not even in high school yet. Looking at her other pictures, she's definitely always well dressed, definitely always age appropriate. And I don't think her parents, let alone her, fall along the lines of anything that we need to harshly chastise them for. I just think the game has to be very careful with telling people to follow his 12 year old daughter because this picture may be the first time we've seen his daughter in a long time. So telling your grown followers who are probably primarily grown men to follow your 12 year old minor child who is also a young girl, you just gotta be careful. The internet is just really sick. Even as far as the Combs twins, when I look at their content, nothing really alarms me. I think their content is great for teenagers and I wish when I was a teenager, there was some type of representation for monoracial black girls of that body type and that skin shade who were famous teenagers and had a good reputation. I feel like when I was a teenager, there were a few such as Kiki Palmer, who I love, and that was just about it. But even Kiki Palmer is almost five years older than me. Most of the teenage phenomenons when I was a teenager were white girls who I couldn't relate to or Kylie Jenner who had a whole different face and body before we were 20 years old. All in all, I do think their outfits were a little bit inappropriate, but I don't think they were alarming or on the horrible end of something being considered not age appropriate. And like I said, if you look at all of the girls' content, they definitely stay within reasonable measures to express themselves through fashion. Moving on to point number two. So my second and final point is answering the question whether or not this is sexualization. I saw a lot of people saying that the only time that kids dress up doesn't just have to be Halloween. And I think that's just a cop out. Like it's obvious that kids can dress up on more than one occasion of the year. Like, duh. Like, I don't think anybody was mad that they chose to do a themed birthday party. I think people are just very protective of children, young black children and young black female children at that. And we should be. I feel like the internet has this thing where they want to pick and choose when they are protective of children. And I'm not for that. If I see something that could potentially harm a child's confidence, perception or mental health, I'm going to speak on it regardless of who the child is. Hence why I said we need to caution the adults in the situation of not showcasing their children in certain lights so that the malicious intent of these disgusting adults don't cascade into their realities. Because at the end of the day, children are innocent. I don't think this is sexualization in a way that is intentional, but like I said, for Callie, the dress was a bit low cut and I think everybody's eye was drawn to her chest because of that specific dress style. For the twins, they're tall, they have long legs, so wearing high-waisted panties is going to draw people's attention to that area. And I don't think it always has to be in a sexual manner from adults. In a lot of cases, it may be, but some adults may just be alarmed that they're looking at a child dressed in a certain way that they think is adult-like. Some people feel as though we only do this to black girls, we only overly sexualize black girls, but I think when we look at the internet and when we look at the history of hip-hop culture, black women have been very sexualized in general, and they've participated knowingly and willingly in sexualizing themselves. When you think of a video vixen, you don't think of a flat booty chested white girl with blonde hair from Willacoochee, Georgia in a rapper's music video, but you do think of the voluptuous and scantily dressed sister from the South Side being in a rapper's music video. So what some adults have done in hip hop culture has been consensual sexualization of the women tied to these rappers, whether it's the rapper herself or the male rapper with the video vixens and the type of 
women that they date. And being that these girls are the daughters of two very prominent male rappers, nobody can now turn around and say, oh, we're sexualizing black girls. Knowing their parents who are used to black women being sexualized around them in adult spaces allowed them to be dressed in this way. So don't blame the people who are perceiving this content. Blame the parents who had probably become numb to that imagery and allow their children to risk being seen in the same way. And I don't think that was the intention of Diddy nor the game, but I'm saying it's just an outcome of their parental choice and the industry that they are tied to. I think if this was their 18th birthday, I wouldn't care. But for a 16 year old and for a 12 year old, it did raise my eyebrows a little bit. And I just want people to be very cautious of the imagery of young black girls and protect them from any malice that they can. In every other case, I love the twins. They always look pretty to me. I love that they rock their natural hair. I love that they are tall and thin, just like I was at their age. And I think that they are great role models for the kids in their generation. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please let me know your commentary on my commentary down below. What do you think? What do you know? Let me know. If you haven't already, go stream my song Ballin. It is out on all platforms. And lastly, follow me on all of my social media networks and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all. Around the way and on the way. Like Had it. to come to Auntie House cause last time I did. I said I'ma call him when I need some money. I ain't trying to wait. Yeah, Mansion in the motherland, bitch. Leave it by the gate. Come all on. my favorite cousins up. They uh -huh. round the way and on the way. Yeah, Had to come to Auntie House cause last time I did 20K, yo. They don't know who they messing with. Yeah. I be where the blessings is. My pockets never deficit. Never. You can't touch all this excellence. You gon' need a prerequisite. Yeah. You gon' need some relevance. So cut it, OT Genesis. Pat in the mail from my boys in the Ooh, Thick, meaty, spicy, juicy, baby, call me Suya yeah. I said 24-7, we stacking, racking I'm a bad bitch, you fraction, lacking Counting bread while he playing Madden I'm in the building, bitch, what's uh -huh. happening? Queen Chama, pure satisfaction I'm really a vet, these joints need Step practice Running circles around them, we lapping QTM girls like camera action Wanna book the girls, you need a thousand Andrew Jackson Add it up and do the math, ain't no subtraction YouTube hit 200k, but that was back then Watch your back, bitch, you know I can make it happen Your man a pendulum, you know that he's swinging right back and he can't get enough of me, baby, cause I'm like that In the comments, going off and really talking shit Shoot him up in my